Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to get a ton of traffic from Yahoo Answers. Now, Yahoo Answers will bring you traffic in two ways. Uh, Wikipedia will bring you, uh, in the last video we showed you, uh, it'll bring you traffic from the actual site, from human beings seeing it and, and clicking the link. Now, what Yahoo will do is it'll bring you uh, traffic from that same thing, from people going there and uh, reading your answer and, and wanting to check out you know what else you have to say um, but it'll also help you by uh, improving your search engine ranking as well for your site now uh, the resources what you'll need in order to do this are free um, but it will take you a little bit of time and what you'll need is two separate Yahoo accounts and you'll also need a, uh, a Twitter account now all those are free and um, this uh, this technique, just to be upfront with you, is a little bit gray hat. And the reason is is because you're going to be asking a question yourself, and then answering the question from another account. And um, <clears throat> obviously, if you ask it as Jim Jones and answer as Jim Jones, it's not going to be very convincing or help anything. So you you would have to do the whole. Um, uh, you know virtual name or whatever so you can always do something which is clearly a fake name like you know Joe Freedom or you know uh, John Marketer or something like that um, so that people know hey obviously this isn't this guy's real name um, but he's you know in this niche you know you if you're in the real estate niche you could be you know Joe real estate or whatever um, so anyway let's let's jump into the technique here uh, first thing you would do is you would go to Yahoo Answers and uh, if you don't already have a Yahoo account uh, <clears throat> you can set that up for free and uh, again it's it's very simple I'm not going to go through that in this video because it's self-explanatory um, but all you would have to do is just sign up for free and create two different accounts and then if you come here to Yahoo Answers you can see for example somebody that's already asked a question this is what it'll look like after you ask a question. In this case, this guy's asking, hey, how do I ask this girl out? So let's say, for instance, you're in the dating niche and you have a uh, video series that teaches people how to you know, talk to women or ask girls out in order to meet the woman of your dreams and you know, marry her. Okay, well, you could ask a question like this, and obviously you want to write it in your own words so you're not copying anything. And, uh, and then what you would do is you would log out and log back in as your other person. In this case, it might be uh, you know the dating guy or whatever. And you would answer this question, okay? Now, when you answer it, you want to, both in the question and in the answer, have your keyword term in there. So in other words, how do I ask this girl out would be your keyword term, okay? Um, if your term is, you know, how to make money in trading, your question is, you know, how to make money in trading, okay? And then what you want to do is, in your question, you want to mention that in the first sentence very early on. So, if your question is, or your keyword is, how do I make money with trading, you want to have, you know, uh, the title be, how do I make money with trading? And then your first paragraph might start out with something like, I'm wondering if anyone could tell me, how do I make money with trading? And then, you know, for the rest of the question, because the question isn't very long, normally it's about a paragraph, um, you don't want to mention those words again. So you don't want to say, uh, how do I make money with trading? Because I've been trading for a while and I've got a lot of questions about how to make money. You don't want to do that, uh, okay? What you want to do is, Think of your uh, your question here as a little website that you're optimizing for the search engines. And when it comes to optimizing for anything, whether it's for a blog or an article or a website or you know a Yahoo question or Squidoo Lens, whatever, um, Google and the other search engines see this like a shopping list. When you go to the store. The most important thing that you need to get is on the top of the list. It's not on the bottom. Okay, 
and if you have you know let's say for example you need to get milk from the store um, your spouse says when you go to the store I don't care if you forget everything else just don't forget milk you're gonna have it on the top okay it's probably gonna be bold it's gonna be underlined you know it's that's your way of saying this is the most important thing and that's the way that the search engines and Yahoo and everybody else will see it as important so mention it first don't mention it at the end don't mention it in the middle because it sounds too spammy just mention it at the beginning hopefully I made that clear um, now when you answer the question in the other account it's the same thing you know you ask the question how do I ask this girl out or whatever it is you know the number one tip I can give you is this this and this and what you want to do is you want to link back to your site okay specifically a page that talks about whatever it is you're doing here it could be an article it could be a blog post and again you want to make sure that you have <clears throat> excuse me a um, either an uh, a squeeze page that you're sending them to or a um, an opt-in box that's very blatant on the top right because uh, from from studying where the most important place is that people look it's the top right okay have your chance for them to get some free information about this topic on the top right and the reason you want to do that versus just sending them to an offer or whatever is it's just like a squeeze page you can get you know 30 percent and up of your visitors to this site on your list or you can just try and get one percent of them to buy so obviously we want to get 30 percent because we can go ahead and sell them something right afterwards but why not get everybody into your sales funnel at first right away now um, Yahoo Answers has a great relationship with uh, Google and with the other search engines so when you do this a you're gonna get a lot of natural organic traffic from people that are in Yahoo Answers that are saying hey you know <clears throat> I was curious about that too and that sounded like a good answer that that guy gave you know he mentioned that he teaches some other you know great similar information on his site you know dating tips 101.com or whatever it is um, you know I'll go check it out and people will find it on the search engines based on your keyword so um, definitely definitely do it uh, it's a great resource it's a great way to get a lot of traffic and uh, and it's free and it really doesn't take very long now it's important to understand this this is a key element to this technique yes you post the question then you log in as the other account and you answer the question with a link to your website but if you just do that you'll miss it okay what you have to do next is you have to log back in as the person that asked the question and uh, choose your other person's answer in other words your fake account or whatever as the best answer and you can wait you know a couple hours to do this or maybe even you know a day or two but by doing that it gives uh, the authority to Yahoo and to Google that that answer was the right answer it's kinda like Wikipedia again okay well the the people have voted and this is the best answer so when you do that you'll end up getting you know more uh, feedback more popularity more rankings and more visitors so um, ask the question have a second account answer the question and then go back to your first account and say this was the best answer and and choose that so that's all you have to do um, again don't forget to take advantage of your traffic by having a squeeze page or by having a uh, opt-in box with a free offer on the top right of your page as soon as they do that